What's up guys? Today we're gonna check out something a little bit different. We've got the Vocalink Flower Bud Smart Diffuser. We're gonna do a setup and review. Hey guys, my name is Shane. Thanks for checking out this video. So on this channel, I'm documenting myself as I slowly transform my home into a smart home using HomeKit uh, without breaking the bank. So today we've got the, the Vocalink Flower Bud Smart Diffuser. This looked kind of cool, so thought we would try it out. What I like about this device, it has a cool mood light that um, you can control too. So it's actually a mood light, a room sensor, it has a humidity sensor built into it, as well as, you know, the diffuser. So it has a 300 milliliter water tank. It says it's best for rooms up to 400 square feet, so like small rooms and offices. You can adjust the speed level, the light colors, brightness. You can create schedules. It does work with Alexa, with HomeKit, and Google Assistant. It says it has a 12 hour runtime and automatic shut off. Uh, this, this device is quiet, so I like that. All right, so let's take a look at what's in the box real quick. We've got the cover, the body, which includes the water tank, includes a measuring cup, an AC adapter, and the quick start guide. All right, now let's get this thing in the bedroom and get her set up. I'll add some water real quick, a little bit of essential oil, All right, so let's open up Vocalink's LinkWise app. We'll click Add Device. And here's just a quick prompt to tell you, uh, make sure you're on a 2.4 gigahertz network and, you've, um, and that you've reset the Flower Bud device. We'll click Next. And here we'll scan the HomeKit code. This might take a minute. But once it's added successfully, it'll bring you here and you can rename the device and change which room you want it to go into. I'll put it in my bedroom and include it in my favorites. Click next. And then we get a separate device, which is the mood light. Um, so it's actually added as a separate device and I'll add this to my favorites also. Click done. And there's a little um, tutorial kind of for the app. We'll skip that. and go into the flower bud and you'll see here immediately there's a firmware update already for this device and one thing about Linkwise I've noticed is that they do have um, lots of firmware updates that are pushed out which is good that means they're continuously updating and uh, fixing bugs and things like that so when you see those definitely do those updates all right and here we're on the overview section of the flower bud and uh, their app is not my favorite app but I gotta admit, you have some pretty cool controls in here for the flower bud, so I think they did a really good job at this. Um, so from the overview section, you can change the color, the brightness of the mood light, you can change the speed and the amount of, of the diffuser. And next, we'll go ahead and click over in the light tab, and here you just have more options for the light. You can add effects, smoothing effects, you can change the colors. You've got a lot of you've got a lot of controls and actually more options in here than you would have in the home app. And next we'll click on the settings tab, the section I thought was really neat. You can see what your current humidity is in the room because of the sensor that's built in and you can change your target humidity here in this section. Your settings here will reflect in the home app as well, which we'll show you in a minute. And next let's tap on the schedule section and here you can add all kinds of schedules um, so we'll do one real quick you can see you can change it for different all the days of the week the mist level the target humidity and you can add as many of these and delete as many as you want on here all right so next we'll get out of there and let's open up the home app you can see here we've got our our flower bud and when i click on this it says raising to 55 percent because that's where we had it, that's the target that we had set in the Vocalink app. And since the humidity in the room is less than that, it will automatically say rising to 55%, trying to reach that target level. And then of course you've got your mood light over here, which you can click on just like any other home kit light. You can change the colors and the brightness. 
Now let's take a quick look at how this thing looks with some of the other lights and things I've done in my bedroom. So what do I think about this device? Uh, so far, uh, I've been using it for a few days. It works pretty well. But I do like having this in my bedroom. Uh, I do like the mood light. It's nice, it's a nice little added feature. This thing comes in right around $60. So it's not super cheap, but when you consider you're getting you know, a humidity sensor, a mood light, and a diffuser, that's not really too bad. When you compare this to some of the other little like table lights and things like that, you know, that Hue makes or some of these other companies, those are pretty expensive too. And this thing has a diffuser and a light in it. So that's pretty cool and it's not too bad. But yeah, so all in all, I'd say I like this device. It's a pretty cool little addition. It's definitely something different. I think this might be the first, if not the only um, HomeKit enabled smart diffuser that's out there. Thanks again for checking out this video. I'll be doing lots of other videos like this where we're trying out and, and setting up new home kit devices throughout my house. We've got some more coming up soon, so be sure to subscribe if you're into this. If you wanna see what I'm doing in my house without breaking the bank, setting up stuff with home kit. Um, so until next time, see y'all later.